So after almost a week of owning it, I finally finished Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And no pun intended, this game is wonderful. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Anyways, after finishing it, I'm kind of speechless to be honest with you. Like, I really wanted to come up with a bunch of verdicts for this review, but at this point I'm just going to go off the rocker, so here's my review on Super Mario Bros. Wonder. So let's start off with the main compliment. The level design is absolutely phenomenal. Like I never got bored playing any level. Like whenever I decided to pick up and play the game, I decided to just like beat an entire world until like putting it down and then waiting to move on to the next one and stuff like that. Like this game has a lot of replayability. And like sometimes when I did not 100% the level, like like for example like not touching the top of the flagpole or not getting at least uh, one of the uh, 10 purple coins, it makes me want to go back and get them. And it also makes me want to discover like the alternate exits to find like a third wonder seed for example. Like there's so much replayability in all these levels and not to mention they're all extremely fantastic. And I love that um, they added the star difficulty and I love that early on in the game you'll find like a bunch of four and five star levels. Like there's a four star level in world one for God's sakes. <laughs> bunch of balls for them to put it in there. Like it really resembles the challenge aspect of Mario 3 and Mario World. We're right in the beginning, at least not right in the beginning, but like somewhere in the beginning, there will be some challenge. Like it's not a breeze until you get to the hard part. When it comes to power-ups, I think all of them are great. The elephant, the bubble flower, and the drill. I really can't think of like a favorite because I was kind of going back and forth, but to be honest with you, if I had to pick a favorite, it will probably be the elephant because I feel like it's the most versatile power-up. Like, it makes playing the levels, most of them anyway, very easy. Like, it can make five stars go like four stars, maybe. <laughs> like, whenever you have the elephant in the, in the level, decrease the difficulty by one star. So, yeah. That's not to say the other ones aren't great. The bubble flower is especially great for like, reaching the top of the flagpole, especially. And the drill is good for finding like, secrets everywhere and also dealing with hard enemies. There's a bunch of characters in this game, but I found my main to be Mario. Cause, I don't know, I just feel like, pfft, it feels right playing as Mario for, for anything. I guess I'm just used to the new Super Mario Bros. games playing, exclusively playing as Mario in single player, cause you had no other option at the time. But I feel like I might try the other characters, but I've heard that they all control the exact same. Like they don't have like specific attributes. But specific attributes can be gained thanks to the badges in the game. Most of the badges are amazing, but that's not to say there aren't a few mishaps, like the invisibility um, badge. I don't even know what the hell they were thinking with that. But my favorite one has to be, without a doubt, the uh, the the boosting spin jump badge, because like when you use it, you just can't stop using it. Originally, beforehand, it was the parachute cap because it allows you to fix jumps more easily. But after using this uh, booster spin, I just can't go back, man. And no spoilers, but the final boss was awesome. One of the most creative in the entire series. So yeah, that's Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Simply put, this game really is wonderful. Okay, that's the last one, I promise. And if I had to give this a rating, it would be some, something similar to most of their reviews. Most people gave this a 9, and I'd give this game a 9 too. I really feel like if you're looking for a classic 2D Mario experience with just enough modern flair to keep it visually appe appealing, then this game is the game for you. I really hope this game sells well because it deserves it, honestly. So yeah, that's my review of the game. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I, I, I apologize for the lack of uh, long videos over the past uh, month, but YouTube Shorts have been carrying this channel over the past month, and it seems like you guys really love them, so thank you so much. So with that being said, I'll see you all later. Peace.